Halo guys, welcome di MSGP dan kali ini kita ketemu sama juara dunia Moto2 dan sekarang pembalap nomor satunya Ducati Corse. Siapa lagi kalau bukan Peko Banyaya. Ciao. Dan sekarang untuk menghemat waktu yang amat sangat terbatas ini karena ini benar-benar eksklusif dari MSGP bersama dengan KIT, kita akan langsung mulai wawancara. Mulai aja langsung. Silakan Mateo. Oke, okay. Peko, I would like to ask you a question. Little bit spicy one first. <laughs> And how I hope you're not upset with it. But uh, how important do you think is your mistake in Doha for the championship? Uh, do you think is I know that the championship still very long. Do you think it's just a jolly, the first jolly out or uh, or how? For sure it was not was better to to don't have any problems, have any crash. Uh, during this season, but um, uh, I had already won, so will be will be very important from now to to restart to be always competitive in the in the top position and uh, don't commit the same error uh, in the future. For sure, will be will be uh, an EV an EV error. Yes, but the championship I think is still very long, so you can still make it up for the future. You know, we all, we are all hope that. Yeah, yeah, I hope that. too, and uh, <laughs> for sure, uh, I don't have any job anymore, like you say. Yes. So, it will be very important. Okay, good luck. And then this is from your fans, you know, you have a lot of fans in here, and people start saying that you start like a diesel engine. At the beginning of the championship, you start very slow, and suddenly in the middle of the season, you just like a rocket engine, very fast, winning, 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 winning. Is that of your uh, your uh, adapt adaptation or uh, your tactic? No, not my tactic. But uh, last year when I started, I, I was arriving uh, from two very difficult year with Team Pramac, mm -hmm. so I was crashing a lot and uh, I was needing to have this type of experience to be competitive. So I started uh, not low, not slow because uh, in. Portimao was first in the championship, or uh, in Carreta was first in the championship. But then I had some problems, and I feel a great, great again in uh, in uh, Aragon. Mm -hmm. This year I started better than last year, but with uh, with a crash. So mm -hmm. I have to be more uh, again like last year, and uh, I know that our potential is higher than what we demonstrate in uh, in Qatar. I see. You, you have been here for uh, the pre-season test in Mandalika. I know it was not uh, the perfect layout track because of the conditions, you know, of the of the asphalt. And now we are trying to to fix it. So I want to ask you, as for your first impression, do you think that this track uh, suits your uh, Ducati GP22? I mean, because in, in the test was was not so bad, you know. First of all, I'm I'm happy. To be here, to, to go in Indonesia in Mandalika, because it's a track that I like it. Uh, the sector two is one of the best sector I I, I ride it in a World Championship, so I enjoyed a lot in the test. For sure, the condition was not the best, but uh, in a race weekend, uh, more more bikes will uh, will ride on track, so it will be better. And also from last corner to uh, till uh, turn turn five, the asphalt will be new. Yeah, exactly. So yes. for me, will be will be better, and uh, and let's see because uh, our bike was working well in uh, in the test, and uh, the track is sweet well in my on my riding style. So I think could be a good weekend for us. Okay, fantastic. And Peko, uh, you are the main Ducati rider, number one. So, and as we know, Ducati is always making improve, improvement, new technology. So, does it mean that uh, all the input of the bike, they will be listening for you rather than other rider, or uh, everything is the same? A good thing, uh, a good thing about uh, Ducati is that all the riders have uh, uh, the same treatment, for sure. And uh, what they say is important for Ducati. So, I was uh, testing a lot of things during the test, but also other riders <coughs> and uh, they trying to understand what they are, what we are saying to to develop the bike and uh, for sure it's not a, an easy work because more riders means also uh, more riding style and it's not easy to adapt to everyone but uh, they they i think have done a good job this year with the bike is uh, is a great bike and uh, 
um, we are a bit behind on the on the developing uh, and uh, on the understanding this bike, but the potential is uh, is uh, very high. Paco, do you think that the real problem is uh, because the electronic is a little bit different, the engine is new, you know, and you need more time to to find the right uh, parameters uh, to have uh, the best bike uh, on track? Yeah, it was easier years ago, this situation, because um, 2018-17 the tests were more, because you were doing three sure. days of test after Valencia race and, and then uh, six or nine, nine days of test in, uh, in February. Now with five days of test only, it's very difficult to develop a new bike and uh, for sure we have just to, to adapt the electronic to the, to the engine and we, we are doing it well, I think because already in the, in the race I was more competitive yes, than too. the first day of test. So I think uh, we have, we have uh, reached uh, a good ba base setup and uh, to start this weekend and everything will be, will be easier compared to Qatar. Okay. Okay. Uh, name the three most uh, other riders that become your toughest competition this year. Um, I think Mark, uh, Mar Marquez, Fabio Quartararo, and, um, and uh, Joan Mir. Joan Mir? Ah, see. And then I want to ask you the last question, so we let you go after <coughs> that. Uh, and um, how uh, competitive do you think is uh, your GP22 finally to win the championship together with a great team of Ducati? Because I think that uh, you are. Uh, the best shape. Last year at the end of the season you were just uh, not good but fantastic so I still, not really, we still believe that you can, you can do this, you know, I mean you look very strong, also the team is very strong. Yeah, uh, I think uh, last year we, we found the, uh, the best situation possible with our bike uh, and this year we are reaching it. So. Before I have to, to see the real potential of this new, this, uh, new bike, to understand and to un uh, see if it's uh, uh, capable to win the championship. But I think and I'm trusting uh, in Ducati and I think uh, the potential is very, very, very high. Fantastic. Do you have a last question? This is the last question for the fans. They're going to ask you, you're a KYT and Suomi uh, rider. How many helmets that you use every season? <laughs> It depends, it depends. Uh, last year I think four. I oh. used only four. Only four helmets? Yeah. Uh, this year I hope uh, uh, to, to use... Uh, a special uh, one at the end of the season. Yeah, uh, well I can <laughs> The gold color. <laughs> Oro. <laughs> the gold one. Uh, I don't know if it would be gold, uh, I don't know, but uh, it's, also, it's always uh, special to have more, to have at home and to see them uh, is something that I like. Nice. Special delivery so is always... Okay. It's always good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you Paco. very much. You know, it has been uh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, you have to know something, you know. I am a commentator from a long time. I was a commentator of Fox Sport before and mm -hmm. then uh, a lot of people are always saying that I have, a, um, you know, a bad sentiment towering you because uh, I was disappointed sometimes when, because, and I say, no, it's not a bad sentiment. It's because I'm a big fan and I know his potential. He's a very strong guy. And I know he can win the championship also from last year. So guys, I want to let you know that CPECO is here and no problem at all. It's just that uh, I know his potential and I support him to, to, <laughs> to win the championship. That's it. <laughs> I think that's it for the interview today. And see you in the... Next MSTP. Sampai jumpa di MSTP berikutnya. Bye bye Ciao. bye guys. Bye. Ciao. Nih guys, jadi ini orang dalam kita. Manajernya yeah. pasti. He's the guy that give us all the information. Eh. I am the, the spy story. Yes, he has Motor a lot cycle. of experience. He's the manager of uh, Enea Bastianini, Valentino Rossi, Simoncelli, Max Biaggi, Iano, Capirossi, Capirossi, Capirossi. Yeah. I was in charge of Aprilia Fortenier, Ducati, Cagiva, Gileva. Cagiva, when, when you also won the, the Marina Dakar. Car, yeah. 90, 90, with Eddie Orioli. Absolutely, yes. We want to tie the motocross or, uh, world champion 125 with the pick of Econ 85 and then you strive with the chicks. Yes. No wonder Bastianini is so strong. Uh, Bastianini is the, a very the experience nice. Experience of, uh, the experience is enough. Uh, for easy now. Not for <laughs> him because he's young. Exactly. Lucky for him. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky okay. for him. So
internal, spy. Mr. Carletto. Carletto. Ciao. Ciao. All the fans. Ciao, ciao.